Hey, my name is Jenna, and I'm a speaker, author, producer, and actress in Los Angeles, California. And I wanted to pop in here today to talk to you a little bit about what's going on right now. It's crazy pants, you guys, as you know. And I feel like right now, more than ever, we need to have a little dose of the positive side of this reality. Um, I know that a lot of you are feeling super anxious. So am I. Everybody I know is trying to figure out this new normal and just get through it together. And I have been reminded so much lately of a situation from my past where everything was running, like going along super swimmingly, right? It was great. I was having the best time of my life. So I grew up in a small town in Minnesota. And since I was three years old, I wanted to move to Los Angeles to be an actor. And I finally did in my early 20s. And I was lucky enough to book one of the biggest TV shows at the time called Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And I inherited Buffy's powers and became a slayer. And it was just like the coolest thing for me because I was a fan. And when you're a fan and you actually get to work on the show, it's like, what? And of course, my little, you know, actor heart was like, I'm going to be a star now and everything is going to change and it's going to be so amazing. And I, uh, the episode aired and I had this huge party and people came and they celebrated and it was just it was everything I had dreamed of since I was a little girl. And I thought my life is going to be brilliant from this moment moving forward. And about a month after that, I was buying oranges on a beautiful sunny day in Santa Monica, California, when I heard screaming and I looked over and people were flying through the air and tents and food were flying through the air. And I had just enough time to think, oh my gosh, it's a tidal wave. Wait, the ocean's on the other side. Before a maroon car came barreling out from underneath a tent and straight at me, it hit a table and swerved and killed the man standing next to me. And that day completely changed my life. I suffered severe post-traumatic stress disorder. I couldn't read. I stuttered when I talked. I would forget basic words. I was having up to three flashbacks a day that would send me into panic, that would make me pass out, and that was the only relief I was getting. And I didn't sleep for eight months, and I ended up in the hospital so that they could regulate my sleep. And basically, you guys, I went completely crazy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And my whole life went down a very dark path. Um similar to what I think a lot of you are experiencing right now. I was having tons of anxiety. Um, I couldn't sleep, like I said, and it was just too much. And that lasted for a really long time until I started to realize that it wasn't going to be forever. And the more I leaned into what was happening in the moment and just kind of didn't fight it, the easier it got um, and the less severe my flashbacks and panic became. And so lately in the last couple of weeks with everything going on in the world, I mean, everything's so uncertain, just like that was. I had no idea if I was ever going to be able to act again. I had no idea if I was even going to be able to sleep again. I didn't know if I was going to survive. There were moments where I thought, um, my life is over. Why not just end it? I mean, there was a lot of darkness in my world. And luckily, I've always been a very true optimist. Like, it's just in my nature, um, which isn't true for everybody, right? So that's why I am on a mission to spread the idea of sometimes we just have to kind of fake it till we make it as in regard to optimism. Um, because if you look at your life, I'm sure you've had situations where you didn't know if you were going to survive. I mean, a bad breakup can feel like it's the end of the world. A lost friendship, a divorce. I mean, there are all of these things that you guys have probably gone through or are going through right now on top of all of the instability in the world. 
but there are also things that you guys have gone through and come out the other side. So today, I really want you to sit down and think about at least one incident, instance, incident, you know what I'm saying, one time in your life where you didn't think you were going to survive. Like it was just too much. There was too much stress. There was too much pressure. There were too, there was just too much. And then remember that you have survived it. Okay. That's the most important part. You have survived those instances. And yes, of course, this one seems like the biggest because quite frankly, it's worldwide and we don't know what's going to happen. So I understand how anxious you must be feeling, which is why it's even more important to focus on those times when you've gotten through something that you didn't think you were going to get through. If we can latch onto those, as opposed to latching onto the fear, we're all going to get through this so much easier. And so today, I want to give you an assignment. I want you to write a one-page paper on that time that you got through. Whatever it is, you choose. And you don't have to expose your innards here. You don't have to, you know, give massive detail about what it was. but acknowledge that you went through something you didn't think you would get through. You survived it. And what does it feel like? This is the part I want you to focus on. How did you get through it? Like, what was it? What, maybe there was just one thing that got you through it. For me, there were several, but one of the biggest was routine, which is something I'm going to talk about later. And another big one was like finding a really motivational audio and playing it on repeat so that I felt motivated to keep going. So just one thing, maybe it was swimming, maybe it was walking, maybe it was journaling, maybe it was calling your best friend and just venting without putting any emotional stress on either of you. Whatever it was, focus on that, write a paper about it, and um. Sorry, my alarm just went off. <laughs> Write a paper about it. Turn it into your teacher. And um, also, if you want some daily inspiration, follow me on Instagram at Jenna Edwards Life. And definitely like comment below if I can answer any questions or help you get through these crazy times. I am happy to. But you guys, just remember, you'll get through it. We'll all get through this. It's going to be okay. Um, until I see you next time, you guys. Be good to yourself. Thanks.